The difference is temper. Time brought to you by Temper. This is Asia Tonight. Oh, good evening, I'm Lok Su. Tonight's top stories, Manila accusing Beijing of dangerous maneuvers in the South China Sea. The Chinese Coast Guard firing water cannon on two Filipino vessels for the third time since early March. Delhi dismisses as irresponsible and unhelpful a US media report linking an Indian intelligence agent with an alleged plot to kill a Sikh separatist leader on American soil. A scandal hitting a party allied to India's ruling BJP in the midst of election season. An MP from a constituency in the southern swing state of Karnataka accused of multiple sexual assaults. A China plays peacemaker for rival Palestinian groups, saying Hamas and Fatah showed political will to resolve their differences in recent talks in Beijing. A G7 country released a final communique pledging to phase out coal-fired power by 2035, but with a caveat offering flexibility to highly dependent Germany and Japan. And also ahead on Asia tonight, Microsoft invests nearly $2 billion on cloud and AI infrastructure in Indonesia in a tilt to Southeast Asia amid geopolitical tensions elsewhere. And the boom in demand for artificial intelligence services sends Samsung Electronics' first quarter earnings soaring, helping to bring its chip division back to the black. Plus, late in the bulletin, Singapore Heritage Fest returns for another year, an event that delves into the country's diverse buildings and structures and looks at how to preserve them. An intensifying maritime dispute between the Philippines and China has been aggravated by another confrontation. And still to come on Asia tonight, Microsoft places its bets on Indonesia with its biggest ever investment in the country to advance its artificial intelligence infrastructure. Business tonight, and Microsoft says it will invest $1.7 billion in Indonesia. And for more CNN's Chani Bhavani joins us live from Jakarta. Chani, uh, bring uh, Microsoft making that huge investment to advance. <laughs> Our ministers from the Group of Seven Nations are set to sign an historic deal. Well, that's Asia Tonight. Don't forget headlines anytime at cna.asia and cna938radio plus on Facebook, YouTube and X. Good night.